Okay, today we're working with Blender 2.78a, and uh, we're going to be looking at modifiers, which allow us to do some simple color correction with our video clips. Uh, and we're doing going to do this in the view editor or the sequencer. Uh, you can also do this sort of thing, and it might be more efficient. Or I don't, I don't want to say that. There's another way to do it, which would be inside the um, node editor. But uh, we're going to be working with the video editor since that's what this series is on. So I'm going to go into video editing and I'm going to say add movie and I'm going to choose, you know, uh, a few of my movie clips here and I'm not going to bother with the sound clips, add. So there they are, I'm going to come up here, hover over the picture and hit home on my keyboard to make it uh, fill in there. And so yeah, here's a little video of my daughter. If I scroll down under here with the uh, strip editor, so I'll select that strip and I'll scroll down to the to edit the strip and I'm going to, to go down to modifiers. And I'm going to choose add strip modifier and you have things like color balance, curves, hue correction, brightness and contrast, mask, white balance, tone map. And I'm not going to go over all these and really how they work. I'm just going to show you that they're here and some things to think about and some ways to use them. So I'm going to start with curves and you know I can adjust the curves for this picture like so and make it look horrible. Uh, and so then I can have that like that and then uh, once I have that how I want I can minimize it here so it's kind of out of the way and I can add another modifier if I wanted to uh, do uh, hue correction and um, I can you know take the colors out of her bathing suit if I want uh, or make the colors in her bathing suit more saturated uh, so so that's what that does but things to remember uh, is the order of modifiers or these effects are important. So look, I have curves then hues if I go the other way around. So you can move them up and down in the list with these arrows here. I'm going to move hues above curves and you notice it changed how the picture looked. Watch her bathing suit there. It's a, a minor change in this example, uh, but it could definitely become more relevant if uh, your effects are stronger depending on where you put them in. So the order you put your, your effects, your modifiers is important. So that's something to think about. Uh, so I, I modified this one clip, but you notice these other two clips have not been modified yet, so I haven't corrected them. So you might want to uh, adjust each clip individually, uh, or you might want to do the same effects across all of them, because the colors might the, the lighting might be different in different shots, so you want different effects. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit Control A to select all of them, and then Shift and make sure that I have that. Uh, this clip selected last since that's the one I've already had effects to because if I go to this one you see the effects the modifiers are not there but if I select all of them ending with the one with the effects I can say copy to selected clips and it's gonna give me two options replace and append so append would if those clips already have effects it will add these new uh, modifiers to the bottom of those modifiers or replace which just makes them all the same so I'm gonna say replace and you'll see that now the other two clips have those same horrible settings that I have set um, so yeah, that's modifiers. Again, there, there's you know a handful of them, very basic color correction type stuff that you can do, color balance, curves, uh, hues, that sort of thing. The order matters, uh, and uh, then you can, again, add them. So again, I can come over here and I can add another modifier. I'll just say um, brightness and contrast, and I'll turn the brightness way up on this one. But again, that hasn't affected uh, this clip. But if I was to select them all, selecting that one last, I can now say copy to selected. Now, I wouldn't want to do a pen because then I'd be doubling up on the uh, on the uh, curves and contrast. So I'll just say replace so they're all the same. And as soon as I move my, my timeline cursor, you can see it takes effect. So yeah, that's modifiers. You know, some very simple color corrections you can do there on your videos. I do thank you for watching. Uh, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. Uh, as well as a link to this full playlist, uh, please think about becoming a supporter over at patreon.com forward slash millx1000. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.